how will a PSM2 class challenge your sub assumptions the most? I, I think fundamentally people's assumptions about what they think a Scrum Master is, what they think a Scrum Master does, how they think a Scrum Master guides the team, the number of times that we have to hit on those myths of of what scrum <laughs> what what people think scrum masters are right i mean um loads of scrum masters are jira admins that's a good one um so, so realizing they're not a jira admin they're not there to solve the team's problems right get get impediments out the way of the team is apparently the scrum master's problem it's like no no they're they're there to cause the removal of the impediments Right, which which means they probably don't do the work themselves. They're helping the team do the work themselves, and effectively doing themselves out of a job. Right, you you want to be invisibly present. That's a great phrase that I love from the from the PSM too. Is being invisibly present. Right, um, you're there. You provide value. Um, you help uh, 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 shape and guide the way people are organizing around the work. But then if you're off for two weeks, um. The work still happens if you're uh, um, away for two weeks the retrospective still happens the daily scrum still happens because the people on the team understand the value that it provides rather than just being told to do it by the scrum master and i have to turn up and be told what to do right um that for me is the biggest transition from um scrum master into the advanced scrum master world Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please like, follow and subscribe. I always reply to comments and if you want to have a chat about this or anything else, Agile, Scrum or DevOps, then please book a coffee with me through Naked Agility.